Today, we're going to show you how to use a pressure cooker to cook things using the power of steam. The pressure cooker that we're going to use today is actually a pressure canner. It's the Graniteware 12 quart pressure canner. Now, remember, not all pressure canners can be used as cookers. So make sure you check the manufacturing directions to make sure that you can actually use your canner for this. Let's look over the components just so you can fully understand this thing. The lid itself, which includes a vent pipe and two backup safety valves and a special locking pin inside one of the handles, a lid gasket sealing ring, and finally, there's the three-piece pressure regulator. There's the regulator itself, which can create an environment at five pounds per square inch pressure. If you add one weight, you take it up to 10 pounds, and you add another weight, take it up to 15. We'll start with pinto beans as an example and show you how to set everything up here. Now, I have to tell you something. I really don't like soaking beans. See, when I decide I want beans, I don't usually think far enough ahead and I want them for my very next meal, like that night. And soaking them overnight isn't gonna work for me all the time. So the technique and recipe that we are using today does not require the soaking of beans. So here's everything you're gonna need. All right, so prep all those ingredients. Remember, the recipe is in a link below. Throw a little bit of oil in there and start sauteing your vegetables. Once those onions start to get a little translucent, throw in your spices. Then add a little bit of liquid to deglaze and then just stir everything to combine. Add the beans and add the water. Looks good? Check the vent pipe by looking through it to make sure there are no obstructions. If it looks good, then we'll go ahead and throw the lid on the canner and tighten it up. Turn the heat up fairly high underneath the pressure cooker. Now, once steam starts streaming out of this vent pipe, then you're gonna need to set a timer for 10 minutes. Remember, we're filling this environment up with steam. Steam is replacing air. So allowing steam to escape for 10 minutes, we're ensuring that there are no air pockets left inside the canner. Then we're gonna add the pressure regulator, in this case, with two weights, since we're gonna cook these beans at 15 pounds per square inch pressure or about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Once that's on there, we're gonna wait until the pressure regulator begins gently rocking. It'll speed up really quick, so turn the heat way down and find a spot where it does not stop rocking. It just keeps going at a constant speed. Now that it's rocking steadily, we can set our timer. In this case, for these beans, 25 minutes. Beans, turn off the heat and then just leave the canner alone for a few minutes. It usually takes five to six minutes and you'll see the little locking pin in the lid drop down. Once it's dropped, we can check the beans by removing the lid. Make sure you tip the lid so the steam goes away from you. Use it as a shield. And there you have it, very fast beans. That took about an hour from the beginning of preparation to ready to eat. So there it is. Pressure cookers are super versatile tools. This one, since it's a pressure canner as well, is even more versatile. You can definitely adapt lots of other recipes to pressure cooking, but we'll cover those on other days. Be sure to leave a comment. Let us know what you'd like us to cover next. What kind of things do you pressure cook or what would you like to pressure cook, but you're not quite sure how? Look for more videos on how to use this thing as a pressure canner on the Graniteware channel. Check out the Mason Jar Suite for more information on canning and food preservation in general. And as always, be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you can get updated when more videos come streaming your way. And that's it for today, so happy cooking.